We actually met in Milan. I was touring with Eternal with Take That. When I was playing football at the time, you used to have to say, who's your favourite girl? You know, like say, if you have a favourite footballer, favourite this, favourite that. And I would say, I like that one out of Eternal. And then Robbie said, I've got to introduce you to her. She's, you know, she's we're touring with her at the moment. But it, it took a long, it was a slow burner, I've got to be honest. It, it, was, it took a long while, a lot of work. Louise specifically said to me she wanted this nice bag. I even put it on hold, I still don't know it managed to come out with the wrong one. I'm a Christmas Eve man when it comes to presents. I always do things last minute. I get there in the end and I'm, I like to think that I buy Louise nice presents. I drop massive hints. Obviously, obviously I take that. pictures. Find me a man that will go out and purchase exactly what their wife or girlfriend wants without him. Not many. Mm. I think all women need to make a wish list. I mean, that's just what we're meant to do. And when that makes it easy for them, because if I'd, he'd hate it if I didn't give him a wish list or a tell list, as he calls it. You're hard to surprise, though, because she wants to know what she's going to get every Christmas. She even asks the kids. Poor old Bo, he's five, he doesn't know what's going on. He thinks, shall I say, shall I not? We'll be surprises at Christmas, but, but Louise is the biggest kid out of all of us. <laughs> I make massive wish lists. My ultimate favourite, there was lots of different, really cute little studs, and because I like to wear three or four at a time. You could have like four tiny little different studs. There was a heart, a bow, a circle stud, and I love them all together. My ultimate wish would be just a beautiful secluded holiday with the family. Life's quite fast paced and just have quality time with Jamie and the kids is my dream.